that is here some de delayed or decayed items are present that the trees are the trees are present in that hunter deal on the slope of the next hill when you go right or to the slope of the next hill there was a small village when we looking over the next next to the that hill we could see there was a small village three children stood beside a low stone there we could see three children are stood in the on the stone wall they are spreading cloths out to dry what the children are doing no they are spreading uh, that uh, cloths to dry uh, the names of the children no uh, the name usha uh, the usha dark hair then the uh, she was uh, rose uh, cheeked struggled with her uh, grandfather's uh, long blue shirt uh, she was uh, used to dry uh, her grandfather shirt Uh, that the next uh, character name is uh, that the uh, usha age is uh, 11 or 12 the second character of this lesson is uh, that usha younger brother uh, name is uh, suresh then he also along with the usha he also doing uh, the class to drive the third character of this lesson is binya uh, who was binya no it is uh, very neighbor uh, that uh, suresh and uh, usha's neighbor uh, uh, there, there was a friend of uh, usha uh, that binya was he was older than uh, suresh uh, you see that binya is a uh, friend of uh, usha now actually the story started now uh, i was to go to the bazaar today who is said no usha is said i was to go to the bazaar today and then uh, other than two then binya and uh, suresh what they do no i was to come with you we are also come with you and then uh, suresh said i can come with you then even binya also said i am also come with you but see they we both of you don't come i am alone going to the bazaar to buy something like that then they are uh, asking won't you be afraid to come back alone then uh, he has suresh has won't you be afraid to come back alone then she uh, she uh, answered why should why should i be afraid uh, there are uh, they, they are replied there are ghosts on the hill that's why the the title of the lesson is hunter uh, they are explaining that why the hunter the things they then uh, they explain then uh, who uh, binya and suresh explain the uh, the hill that there are ghosts on the hill i know but i will be back before it gets dark then what usa is reply no i know that there are ghosts present on the hill but i can be uh, return back uh, before the dark that means uh, before dark me uh, before setting the uh, sun i can return back like this he said then he gets he explained the ghost will disappear on the day time because i can be return back before six or before five a ghost disappeared on the day time then no they again they are replied grandfather says so what he says so in 100 years before that means 100 years ago the english people lived on the hunter hill the english people lived uh, there was uh, one time uh, once upon a time there was uh, actually a terrible storm was happened because of the, that uh, terrible storm the entire uh, their houses is fell down there are actually children also living in that houses uh, they, there may be two or three children living along with their parents the three children and along with their parents they are going to be died that means they were died by the time of storm so that uh, the grandfather says that remembered that the story is remembered by this two up to to the usha then even no after the end that also she went down she started to go bazaar then uh, there was she bought uh, groceries and there are some other items that means uh, for example uh, uh, exercise book that exercise books for suresh and uh, some of the marbles for bay the different things she bought she spent uh, much time in the bazaar itself now the time is uh, very close to actually 6 o'clock 
in before that uh, even cement uh, had an anti gloss for taking tea so that uh, she spent uh, much of the time in bazaar itself the shopping bag was uh, full she slung it over the shoulder and set out for the village it's uh, that uh, she has completed her uh, purchase then uh, she set out uh, for the village this is the first section is given in your uh, textbook we go for the second section uh, that i must uh, get home before dark uh, said by usha she must go before dark then uh, uh, she hurried alone the path but already the sky was darkening now actually the time at uh, 6 o'clock she was started at uh, noon that is at uh, 2 o'clock now actually she started to return back to uh, her village at uh, evening 6 o'clock the clouds black and the threatening it is it is thre- threatening she is getting feared and uh, looked over the hunter hill the threatening then she looked over the hunter hill this was actually the month of march this is the season for the big storms and a deep rumble echoed over the hills she heard uh, there is a echoed over the hills and usha went to the first heavy drop of rain hit her cheek a heavy drop hit her cheek what happened uh, next to know now she has uh, frightened now after uh, hitting the rain first heavy drop on the cheek she was running but the rain drops were coming down faster even when she was running the rain drops also is coming very faster a uh, big heavy pellets of the rain is falls down then uh, she knew there was a corner where a piece of old roof a remind that there, there was actually the corner on the roof then she want to be settled down there because uh, the rain also now is continuing heavy rain is to be now she had only to stay off the path to go over the rocky cliff edge that uh, she could observe uh, the cliff edge is there on the rocky hill then uh, she goes uh, very near to the cliff edge so that uh, she hear the sound again you know the old at the wind actually the sound uh, she hear by the time then uh, usha found her way into the uh, right uh, building she found uh, there was one building the building already decayed that means it is collapsed uh, helped by the memory of the faces that there should be a constant flicker of lightning that right uh, with the lightning this uh, continuously there was lightning her hand uh, touched something by the time what happened no? the usha hand uh, touched something that uh, was uh, very sharp and uh, furry she gave a started cry took her hand away she taken her hand away but uh, she was crying by the time because it was very sharp and uh, furry then uh, she recognized uh, it was a wild cat but for a moment she had been very frightened her claws were uh, shocked and the water steamed down uh, from her long black hair to form a puddle at her uh, feet she stamped her feet to keep the warm she thought she heard a faint cry was it is cat again again there was a sound but what she felt no again she may thought uh, again the cat is come so not but she may thought uh, it is cat or a something than other animal like a uh, owl but the sound of the stone blotted out all other sounds but uh, there was a sound but because uh, the rain was continued there are lightning and thunder and everything because that time it is storm is happened no as opposite wall was split up she saw the opposite wall where actually she was standing no that wall in the opposite of that it is split up she saw that crouching in the disused fireplace two small figures they could only have been children she found uh, there are uh, there was a small uh, figure is standing there she found that then she was looking uh, over the two figures but the ghostly figures took it up what actually that uh, figures that mean the two children we know that the two figures also looking the usha uh, so that is staring back at usha okay she is staring back to the usha and then everything was dark again 
again after that after looking uh, that is that should be the vice versa that everything again dark now like this is actually in your textbook section 2 is given the story of the section 2 now we go for the section 3 that actually we, we start from the section 2 the figures two figures and osha both of them are in vice versa they looking both of them even now again uh, the dark comes again now we go for the section 3 uh, osha heart was in her mouth now because he was very really frightened her heart uh, again was in her mouth she had the scene without a shadow even now she can she cannot see any shadow of a doubt because uh, if anything anybody is standing in front of usha that must be the shadow she cannot see even the shadow also two ghostly creatures at the other side of the room can see that uh, see you can see that there are two that is ghostly figures other side of the room standing she ran out of her arm even she started running then she ran on all the sides of the room but she cannot uh, come out from the room she ran towards the big gap in the wall actually there are two big gaps she ran out then she in the big gap in the wall she ran here and there and then there was she shot she was standing in one place there is again so so then she was shot and even the two figures also who had to see has seen you know, the two figures also shouting and then the yeah, voice there is here that there was a sound of voice voice shout and usha instantly recognized now she recognized the that sound from suresh he can see called suresh then now suresh called usha even binya he can see also called binya then usha called binya name then suresh and binya both of them are called usha like that then it is us then uh, they say you know usar so telling uh, it is me then usar said i thought uh, you are ghost and then uh, they see they replied uh, they replied to usar then they also thought uh, you are a ghost then again by the time rain is continued and so did the thunder and the lightning now again the thunder and lightning started but they were not afraid now now they were not afraid because they know they are the mankind because their friend usha and uh, binya and suresh they gave each other warmth and uh, confidence because they know they are not ghost we can they cannot be seen their ghost but they are not afraid now uh, because even the rains did not seem so far away uh, after an hour the rain stopped so they waited one hour that the now the rain stopped let's go said usha usha said let's go come on suresh said because for the time oh, suresh is getting hungry suresh said to oh, him hungry and when they were oh, some distance from the rains because very uh, it is not yet close to their uh, village the building was very far away the usha looked back and said can you see something that Uh, it is uh, like a hand waving <coughs> we could see there are the some other items present in that wall, uh, buildings there are some hand waving and some other items also there i cannot see anything then suresh explained replied i cannot see anything because uh, suresh cannot see anything why no uh, he was hungry again he, he said uh, i was hungry so i cannot see anything it's just a top of the plum tree said dunia is not like uh, something is waving it is uh, there was a tree it is plum tree a plum tree top only we are looking that uh, said by coach binya now goodbye goodbye why is some the new actually they are not said they hear the some of voices from outside goodbye goodbye then now uh, uh, who said goodbye has to us they hear the some voices uh, who said goodbye then uh, suresh explained not i even binya also said not i who so they make confused who said you also not said then i also not said then who said goodbye the kind of usha here the goodbye goodbye and the goodbye it's continuing 
then something is calling good bye but uh, she thought was it just the wind they thought uh, it was wind wind says as good bye that is the thing should understood here and this all the section by section uh, uh, understanding section by section the lesson is given we go through the video in all the section just collectively i given you the story you go through the video the next part of the video i give you short answers paragraph and the standing sentences until then thank you goodbye